Hi everybody, this is Jack Lucchetti and I'm going to show you how to use Gretel for accessing the Dibinomic website and downloading the time series it contains. For those of you who don't know what Dibinomics is, uh, let me briefly show you uh, its website. Um, Dibinomics, uh, which is a website that you find at this address, db.nomics.world, is, um, is an effort undertaken primarily by uh, uh, some French institutions um, that strives to give you a uniform um, interface for accessing uh, lots of economic time series from different providers. Um, the website for dbnomics is db.nomics.world uh, but they are working on a next version um, that is what I'm going to show you in fact because the next version should be online I guess in a few weeks and this is what uh, Gretel targets um, the new version fortunately is already accessible so I can use it uh, to show you uh, the new uh, facilities, the new features of Gretel and in order to access the new version um, all you have to do is click this link here or um, type the address that is next.nomics.word uh, here. Now what does this um, uh, website contain? Well this website contains um, an enormous quantity of data uh, from different providers. If you look at the list of providers you see there is a an enormous variety of sources. You've got the uh, BEA, the um, Bureau of Labor Statistics, as well as European institutions such as Eurostat, the European Central Bank, and and so on. What we're going to what we're going to use for this example <coughs> is uh, a data set that uh, I guess everybody who's ever worked with international economics knows very well, which is uh, the world development indicators as provided by the world by the World Bank. So, um, in order to show you what what you get, you just click here on the Web World Bank um, uh, link, and you you're presented with a list of the data set that the World Bank uh, gives you. One of one of them being the world development indicators here. Now, um, this is important. Uh, to, uh, to, to stress because um, each series that you find in the binomics is identified by a three layer mechanism. Basically you, s you have that each data series that you have um, comes under uh, an ID which is composed by a code for the provider, a code for the data set and uh, a code for the individual series. So for example uh, if you look at this uh, series here, um, which is the here, which is the uh, number of tractors uh, in uh, in uh, East Asia, uh, East Asia and Pacific, um, you will see that this time series here comes under this ID here, which is uh, WB slash WDI slash and then you've got a code for the individual series and um, DBnomics codes are typically um, short strings um, with dots in between so in this case this is AG dot AGR dot track dot no dash Z4 but uh, you've, you've got all, all sorts of identifiers like this now of course you can use the website to view the data, possibly download it, but um, what I'm going to show you is uh, how you can do the same from within Gretel. Now, uh, of course, in order to do this, you're going to have to use the uh, uh, latest version of Gretel, which is uh, 2018B. Um, in this version of Gretel, you can access the binomics uh, through a dedicated interface. How do you get this interface? Well, it's quite easy. Uh, one way is to uh, use the file menu and then 
click on databases here on the sub menu here and then choose DBnomics or alternatively you just click on this icon here which is the um, second one from the right that you get uh, on the bottom of the Gretel window and then you find a little icon here uh, that you use you click on this icon to access DBnomics. Now, if you want to get an individual series, all you have to do is provide the ID for that series. So, for example, what you can do at this point, if you want the, uh, the series we were looking at before, you just copy this string here from the browser and you paste it here. And a window appears with summary information about this series and from this window you can click this icon here and see the uh, a graphical representation of the series or you can click here and see the actual data or better still you can click on the plus icon here and what you do is you add your, the series to your existing Rattle dataset. Of course, you have a um, way to rename a series. There is a mechanism for, give, for giving you a default name for the series, but of course, you can change it uh, um, any way you want. So let's call this perhaps Asian uh, tractors or whatever. And if you do this, and, it, and then if you go to the um, main Gretel window, you see that you now have um, a series, time series, an annual time series called Asian Tractors, which contains exactly the same data that we were looking at before. Um, now, uh, the possibility of using this mechanism for downloading ser series is already quite nice, but Clearly, you need a way to query the data set as well. Now, this is something that you can do through the um, website itself. So, for example, let's keep using the World Development Indicators, but let's say that we are looking for something. Uh, so, for example, um, the exchange rate for Greece. Okay, just for the sake of the example. So, uh, here is, you can... Uh, uh, provide the string for searching the data, the, the data set. Uh, so let's change, let's write exchange here. And so you get this series here, and then let's pick Greece. Yeah. So you pick Greece, and you are presented with uh, a series which is the official exchange rate. And of course, clearly, uh, you can uh, take this. Uh, identifier, copy it, and then you go again uh, here to the um, Dibionomics interface, you paste it here, and again you import the um, exchange rate for Greece for the given period. Okay, this is something that you can do from the website, but this is also possible from within uh, Gretel itself. So, for example, uh, okay, let me close a few windows first. Okay, from this interface, what you can do, you can browse the whole Dibinomics website, and if you click on the browse menu, you'll the first thing you see is a list of all providers. So let's choose World Bank first, and then from within World Bank, let's choose the World Development Indicators. Now, at this point, um, you get a list with all the series um, that you that you find in the World Development Indicators. And of course, this is a huge data set. You've, you've got uh, hundreds of thousands of series here. So, uh, if you want to query this particular data set, uh, what you can do is, at this point, you click 
uh, in inside this search box and you just write the terms you want to search for that is for example in this case exchange rate Greece so after a while you see that uh, there are three series here that you uh, can um, that match the query uh, for in the world development indicators so uh, you get the series we just downloaded and plus two more um, and at this point obviously if you click on one of them um, the procedure is just the same uh, you get the series here you can uh, see a picture of it you can uh, look at the data you can import it into your data set and so on and so forth um, this is nice, but uh, there is something also nicer that you can do, uh, because clearly this is this the, the procedure I showed you so far assumes that you already know uh, which data set contains the data uh, that you are after, but you may not know this. So uh, we provide you uh, with a way of searching the whole of DBnomics. Basically, what you can do is insert your search terms here um, in the search box that you get for the first window, the one where you have the list of providers. So if we, for example, uh, search for exchange rate Greece from here, you'll see that what you get is a list of data sets. That is, the, all the data sets that contain those three terms. One of them, as you can see, is the World Development Indicators, but there, there are many, many more. Uh, so, for example, we could uh, have a look at what we get, what data we get about the exchange rate for Greece uh, in the um, main economic indicators data set that the OECD provides. So, if we click on here, uh, then <clears throat> you have again a list of the of the series uh, that you get in this particular data set and again you've got lots of them because there's nearly uh, 90 thousands of them so uh, well, again we want to restrict the search so we can again type exchange rate for Greece here and as you can see here, we found nine series. Now, the important thing to to uh, to note here is that some of these series uh, so are, are annual, like this one here. So, if you click on this one here and you um, add it to the, your data set, this series will be added to your set to, to your data set. Okay, and this is the series we just downloaded from the OECD. Um, data set. But what happens if you get a series which has different periodicity, which has a different, a different frequency? So for example this one, this one is quarterly. Now what happens if you try to grab this series and put it into an annual data set? As you can see this um, the periodicity for this um, data set is annual. Well what we you, what you get in this case okay uh, for example if you picture the series you can see this is a quarterly series so it's got a higher frequency uh, what happens if you try to import it into your data set uh, well if you do then a window appears with the um, what gives you a list of options uh, for squeezing your quarterly uh, uh, your quarterly time series into an annual data set, uh, you can choose uh, between averaging, summing, and also other methods. For example, you also get the option of um, importing the series as a Midas uh, list. Okay. This is probably too specialized to cover here, but uh, let's say, for example, we get we, we, we use the default option, which is averaging, and if you if you click on OK here, Gretel will automatically uh, import the quarterly series here uh, for you um, into your uh, data set. Now, this is very nice, of course, because that gives you the um, 
a way to access all sorts of data from within Grekel. Mm, but you may want to script this. That is, you may want to save your work, to keep track of what you've done, uh, and to uh, disseminate your scripts so that your research is replicable. Of course, we do provide a way to do all this by scripting. For example, if you uh, click on the tools command log uh, item here, you see that the same actions that we just performed um, in this video are also described algorithmically in this uh, code snippet here. And of course you can uh, call, cut and paste this into, your, into a larger script which does the things that you want to do. But scripting is much more powerful than that because, for example, it gives you the possibility of downloading several series uh, at the same time. So, for example, you might want to get a certain series for a certain number of countries. Or you may want to get uh, several series for several countries and, uh, and so on. And by scripting, there is a very nice way to do this. Now, uh, of course, I'm not going to explain to you how this is done in this video because that would take us too long, but I will um, give you a pointer to uh, the important, to the relevant information. The documentation for the scripting interface to Dibinomics is maintained as a PDF file. This PDF file can be found as the documentation to the function package that uh, Gretel uses for uh, uh, interfacing with Dibinomics. Function packages are something you might already be familiar with uh, because those are the uh, add-ons that we uh, use for adding features to Gretel. Um, if you click on this icon here, Function Packages, uh, you will see a list of the packages that you have on your system. Now, <laughs> on my system, I've got quite a few installed, as you can see, but uh, in yours, on, on your system, probably you, you're going to have much fewer than, the, 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 than, than what I've got, but certainly you will have this Dibinomics package here because that's contained by default with your uh, stock Gretel installation. And if you select this um, item here and you click on the PDF icon here, now the, the documentation will open for Dibinomics. It's a PDF file that you can browse, that you can look at, that you can search and that you can print and tells you all uh, there is to know for accessing Dibinomics from within Gretel. And you've got quite a few example um, scripts and uh, you have a full description of all the functions that you can work from scripts and so on. So if you want to make uh, an advanced used of uh, an advanced use, usage of uh, the Dibinomics interface uh, that we have provided in the latest version of Gretel, uh, you are strongly advised to study the manual. Um, I guess this is it. Uh, of course, if you have more questions, uh, you're welcome to ask us the um, the developers and the community uh, and as always the preferred way to do this is by sending um, an email message to the Gretel using user list of course your feedback is very much welcome um, if you find bugs if you find if you have ideas on how to uh, enhance the uh, Dibinomics interface that is within Gretel, uh, then of course your suggestion is most welcome and all you have to do is get in touch with us. For the moment, this is it. I uh, wish you a happy and productive time of uh, uh, economic, econometric analysis with Gretel. Bye bye everybody.